understand is that I am who I am today because of the people in my family, particularly the men in my family who valued me and invested in me from the day I was born. I had a father, a brother, uncles, grandfathers who encouraged me and challenged me, protected me, and told me that I was smart and strong and beautiful. And, and as I grew up, the men who raised me set a high bar for the type of men I'd allow into my life. I am who I am today because of the people in my family who value me, particularly the men in my family. Which is why I went on to marry a man who had the good sense to fall in love with a woman who was his equal. And to treat me as such, a man who supports and reveres me, and who supports and reveres our daughters as well. Leadership is about creating new traditions that honor the dignity and humanity of every individual. Leadership is about empowering all of our people, men, women, boys, and girls, to fulfill every last bit of their God-given potential. And when we commit to that kind of leadership across the globe, that is when we truly start making progress. Because that's when families in small villages around the world will demand equal opportunities for their daughters. They won't wait. That's when countries will willingly and generously invest in sending their girls to school because they'll know how important it is. And we all know the ripple effects we can have when we give our girls a chance to learn. We all know that girls who are educated per earn higher wages. They're more likely to stand up to discrimination and abuse. They have healthier children who are more likely to attend school themselves. My ancestors came here in chains. My parents and grandparents knew the sting of segregation and discrimination. Yet I attended some of the best universities in this country. I had career opportunities beyond my wildest dreams. And today, I live in the White House, a building beautiful African-American girls walking our dog in the shadow of the Oval Office. And today I have the privilege of serving and representing the United States of America across the globe. So my story and the story of my country is the story of the impossible getting done. And I know that can be your story and that can be Africa's story too.